My first memory of priority design was, actually I was working at a different company, and I saw these sketches, and they were irons, and I remember looking at them and wondering, what in the world are these things? The designs were crazy, unique, but in a very, very cool and kind of an attractive way. What struck me is their ability to listen to feedback um, and take it and use it constructively and come back with the next round, which were almost dead on, was amazing. The last seven years have been fantastic for everyone here at TaylorMade. We started um, in 1999 with a business that was about $300 million in size. And this year we'll go past $1 billion during one of the toughest business markets ever in our industry. And I don't think it's really by coincidence that our growth and the joining of uh, relationship with Priority are coincidental. Paul took the time with his team to really understand what our business was all about, what our strengths were and what our weaknesses were. He even went as far as taking um, employees and putting them here in our building thousands of miles away from their own offices. And to me that's been a secret to the success of our company because there's been a commitment from day one to do things that I would say most design agencies would never even think about. Now there's nothing that Priority Design doesn't touch in our product side of our business. There's a subtle language of, of what TaylorMade is and, and this day-to-day -day focus, hour-to-hour -hour focus with Priority. They understand these subtle nuances of how the brand's kind of changing and that relationship going back and forth I think is almost priceless. Their intent on listening uh, I would say that there is zero ego, not just with Paul, but throughout the entire organization. Instead of just the typical, um, I'll hire a design firm, slap it onto a certain project, here goes the brand, here goes the design firm away. You know, TaylorMade and, and Priority together have kind of molded the style together. Some people would say that Priority Design's success could be only limited to golf because they are so passionate about the game of golf. And I'm going to suggest that they're passionate about solving problems through design. We have to come up with new ideas and new concepts that are relevant to golfers, not just today, but what we think they're going to like five, six, seven years from now, which isn't always easy, but we've been pretty good at it. And Priority has been a huge help in really uncovering new ways to look at things and, and making sure that we're important tomorrow. Now I think our products are the most beautiful products in the history of the game of golf.